The following report contains some disturbing images. A 21-year-old Russian man is forced to drink urine. He's been seized by vigilantes who accuse him of being a paedophile. Attacks like this, filmed and posted online, are being carried out across Russia by an ultra-nationalist group that claims it's meeting out justice. But from what's being said in these videos, the encounters come across as homophobic attacks. This woman says she's on safari, hunting paedophiles and gays. And we tracked her down in St. Petersburg. She's the local vigilante leader, and her name is Yekaterina. Our priority is uncovering cases of pedophilia, but we are also against the promotion of homosexuality. And if, along the way, we encounter people of non-traditional sexual orientation, we can kill two birds with one stone. Across the city, gay rights lawyer Maria Kozlovskaya thinks the attacks are a direct result of a law signed by President Putin. In Russia, it's now illegal to spread information about homosexuality to anyone under 18. A few years ago, my partner and I could hold hands in public without a problem. Not anymore. We worry it could attract aggression or violence. It all comes from having a law that presents homosexuality as a dangerous thing. Russia has come in for huge international criticism of this controversial new law. It's even sparked calls in the West for a boycott of next year's Winter Olympics in Sochi. But the Russian authorities are unrepentant. Politician Vitaly Milonov is one of the architects of the legislation. Its aim, he says, is to cleanse Russia. We would like to have a healthy society, and a healthy society can be based only on healthy values. So you say the pr societies which promote homosexuality yes, are sick societies? Yes, absolutely. They don't agree with that at the oldest gay club in Sochi, but the atmosphere in Russia has the owners worried. Even in the Soviet Union, where homosexuality was criminalized, gays were treated better than in Russia now, Andrei says. Today, people hate us. But they're hoping here that the Olympics will make Russia more tolerant and make them feel safer in their own country. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.